Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Remember that sick mantle and climbing system I showed you guys in the last video? The one that lets your characters climb walls like parkour pros? Yeah, that one. Well, strap yourselves in because today, we're going to crack open the code and learn exactly how I built that bad boy. Now, this ain't gonna be a hand-holding tutorial for folks just starting out. We're gonna be diving deep into some juicy Godot 4 concepts, but don't worry, I'll break it down into bite-sized pieces so you can grasp the core ideas. By the end of this, you'll be ready to build your own gravity-defying movement mechanics, even if you're not a master coder yet. So, are you ready to unleash your inner mountain goat and take your game design to the next level? Then let's do this. First things first, let's talk about the foundation. The basic idea of climbing mechanic is to use two raycast to detect climbable object. For example, if player jump into wall, we need to cast two raycast to that wall. If one raycast hit the wall and another one is not hitting anything, we can consider that as a ledge. When we find the ledge, now we can disable gravity and play climbing animation. Easy right? There are many more condition we can set up, but for this tutorial, we only use those two criteria to tell our player the climb condition. The only question is, how do we do it through the code? As usual, we go back to player and create two raycast facing forward. Place it above the player head. For this, I name my raycast as ray01 and ray02 respectively. In our script, we reference that raycast as ray01 and ray02. Then, create a new function to detect climbable ledge. This line of code is telling our player that if ray02 is hitting something and ray01 is not hitting something, we will set on ledge as true. And if on ledge is true, we can disable gravity and play climb animation. Note. To disable gravity completely, make sure to set velocity y and gravity to zero. Else, your player might still falling down slowly. If you use the build and script, this too is the gravity value. This two line of code is important later. Make sure to remember it. Now that we have built our code, let's see the result. Good, this should be the result we want. After finding the ledge, we can play our climb animation. This is the harder part. From now on, we have two option. Root motion or non-root motion. Of course, the easy way which is to use root motion. Unfortunately, since Godot have a very bad root motion implementation, I have to use the later method. If you're already a root motion expert, you can just skip this part entirely since your climb animation would play accordingly. It quite confusing, so let me show you what I am talking about. Let's say you got a climb animation from Mixamo or anywhere else. As you can see, whenever the animation finish, it root position is separated from player model. This is fine and all, but after the transition to next animation which is idle animation, we will have problems since the player position is returned back to its original point and not at the new position. To remedy this, we need to make our player model to go independent from its parent during climb state. This way, the parent position won't affect climb animation new position. Remember our code before? Yeah, this piece of code will make out player model as a top level. This way, the parent movement won't affect animation position. We will use this while in climbing state. After we finish climb animation, we need to move our root player to a new position, so that player won't return to its original position. There are many ways to do that, one way is to store the new position value and teleport the root player to that position. To store the new position, I will use third ray cast, which I will call ray03. Remember that from somewhere? Cast it downward. Make sure it high enough from player head. Place it to where the animation end. This way, we will get the exact location to teleport our root player. For our code, let's add player root, player model, and third ray cast in our parameter value. And to move the root player to new position, we will do it from animation event. 
Before that, let's create a new function called teleport. This code will teleport our root position to third raycast point. To run this function, we need to create animation event. Open our climb animation clip and call method from the script. I find it better to place teleport function after our player already on the ledge level. Now, let test it. It work. But now we have a new set of problem. Climb animation play non-stop. This is because we still in climbing state. We need to turn on ledge to false and return back player model into child of player root. For that, we need to create another method that will be called by animation event. Let's call it move the body function. What this function does is to reset back player into their original position before climbing begin. We must place this function to the next animation that happened after player finish climbing, which is in this case, an idle animation. For some reason, place it at the end of climbing animation clip won't work as expected. The method must be placed exactly at the beginning frame of idle animation, else, you will get some weird movement. Let's see the result. As you can see, the transition snap exactly where the climb end. If done right, you won't even notice the transition. Of course, this is just the basic of it, to make it look more natural, you need to fine tune the detail yourself. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, because I do. There are many more feature I added from this mechanic that I cannot cover in this video. Hopefully I can do that in the next video. The full project is already uploaded to my Patreon page, check it out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your thought on this matter.